In this tutorial, I'll show you how to streamline the creation of subtitles using Media 100 and Boris Red. Media 100 is a fast, high-quality video editing application for Mac OS X, offering a unique combination of ease of use, ease of learning, and consistent professional results. Boris Red is a powerful compositing, titling, and effects suite which performs as a standalone application and streamlines workflow by plugging into many host NLEs, including Media 100 and Apple Final Cut Pro. Subtitles are commonly created as static lower thirds. Creating identical lower thirds for the subtitles of an entire project could be a daunting task, but Red's subtitle import feature streamlines the process. Here I have my Media 100 program ready for subtitles to be added. I'll right-click on an empty video track above the other tracks and select Insert New Clip Composition and drag the end of this track out to be the length of the project. Now I'll click on the Edit Clip tab in the Edit Suite to launch Boris Red. I'll select File, Import Subtitle File, and select my subtitle file. In the Subtitle Import Settings dialog box, I'll make sure to select the Add User Mark for each subtitle feature. This will really help later on when navigating the timeline. Now I'll click OK and my subtitles will appear, all enclosed in a title container. You'll notice that the title tracks are staggered in time according to the timecode information in the subtitle file. There's also a green user mark at the beginning of each subtitle from when I check the box at Import. I can move the CTI from one title to the next using the Alt, L, and J keys to navigate through the user marks. Now I can create custom text styling. Any option that you apply in the Controls panel will automatically be applied to all subtitles in the project. I'll start by creating a backdrop for the subtitles by checking the backdrop box. The default backdrop color is white. I'll leave this, but I'll take the opacity down to around 50%. Now I'll change the text style by opening the style palette. In the text tab, I can manipulate all the elements of the text, including the color, edge, and shadow, or I could simply select one of the presets. I'll close the style palette and resize my text. Now I'll choose File, Quick Compositing Suite, and save my effect settings. In my Media 100 timeline, I can see that all of my subtitles have been created with the same effects, saving me the trouble of applying a style to each subtitle. For more information on Media 100, visit Media100.com. For more information on any Boris product, visit BorisEffects.com.